Hi and welcome to TCM, I'm Tiffany Vasquez. Up next we have an impressive historical drama starring Norma Shearer and Tyrone Power. From MGM in 1938, it's Marie Antoinette. Shearer was considered the undisputed queen of MGM after her breakthrough Academy Award winning performance in The Divorcee in 1930, along with her marriage to the boy wonder producer Irving Thalberg. In fact, Shearer was unfairly accused by some of getting choice roles because of her marriage to Thalberg. And while their relationship certainly didn't hinder her career, Shearer was a greatly talented and accomplished actress and proved it time and time again. As early as 1933, Thalberg had begun development of a film that would not only showcase his wife's gifts as an actress, but would be one of the most lavish productions ever released by MGM. Unfortunately, Thalberg died suddenly in 1936, leaving the entire production up in the air. After a two-year absence, Shira returned to the studio to film her husband's final project, but it was not without drama. For one thing, MGM head Louis B. Mayer was no fan of Thalberg's, so when Shira fought for the profits that she was entitled to as part of her late husband's estate, Mayer refused. Although, for the record, Shira later won that fight. But despite the drama behind the scenes, Shira couldn't be better. And there's something else in this movie I personally love. A scene at a masquerade ball that, along with the black and white artist gala and Vincent Minnelli's An American in Paris, might be the greatest party scene ever filmed. It seems the French definitely know how to party. Featuring John Barrymore, Tyrone Power, and Gladys George, here's Marie Antoinette. 